Welcome to the 1980s Gladiator Round Tournament. And of course, we're going to be checking out the brackets when this match is all done to see where this is headed. Today's matchup features Mike Christian versus Francis Ben Fado. And it was a little bit difficult to find a front relaxed position of one Mike Christian. This one's not a very good one. His abs, I don't think they're really flexed properly. But you have to go with what we have, and the much smaller man in Francis Benfado takes this one with ease. Look at that set of abs, and just look at the aesthetics. What a fantastic physique. His head is a little too large, though, I will say. A big head's not good for bodybuilding. So, Mike Christian, down one point. Let's go to the next pose. Ah, the front double bicep pose. Not a bad pose for both of these gentlemen, but in my opinion, this is a little bit better of a pose for Francis Benfado. You think of him as an aesthetic creature, but wow, does he have one good set of guns. Look at those arms, very complete as well. He's a little machine as well as a very aesthetic work of art. Mike Christian almost looks a little bit gangly in this pose. His arms are almost too, not thick, but too big. They're too long, just massive big arms. I wouldn't want to box with that man. But uh, that has nothing to do with bodybuilding, so let's award Francis Benfado the second point. Doesn't look good for Mike Christian. Let's go to the next pose. And there seems to be a trend developing. Mike Christian is able to come up with some good quality poses, but then Francis Benfado snaps an even better one each time. Look at that lat region. I've never realized how good of a front lat spread Francis Benfado had. Wow, he is very underrated as a bodybuilder. What an impressive specimen. So, 3 nothing for Benfado. Let's go to the next pose. And finally, Christian walks away with a token of a point. It was a little bit difficult to find a good competition pitcher of Ben Fado. It is obvious from his photo shoot pitchers he has one heck of a uh, side chest. But it appears by this comparison, Mike Christian is much more impressive and conditioned as well. The angle on Ben Fado's pitcher is not correct. So it was hard to get his height perfect here. But enough about that. Christian takes the point. On to the next pose. This here side tricep was not a fun one to judge. I ended up going with Mike Christian on the strength of that massive tricep. Look how striated and just deeply cut it is. Very pronounced tricep. And this is the side tricep. And if you're familiar with my judging, you know I place a great deal of emphasis on being able to see that side tricep, or the actual tricep itself in this pose. And Francis Benfado does look fantastic, aesthetically very pleasing. But the tricep itself is not that visible, so Christian gets the point. I hope I made the right decision in this one. Let's go to the next pose. Ah, uh, yes, the all-important back shot. And this will be the only back shot due to lack of competition rear lat spreads, on both men's part, actually. This was one difficult decision here in the rear double bicep pose. Christian has much thinner skin. It looks like he's maybe in better condition. I'm not sure. When you look at the lower back region, it seems Benfado may be in the better condition of the two. Christian, you can't really see his glutes, but I don't think either man has any striations in those glutes. I guess I'd give Benfado the edge in the legs. Christian's holding his legs funny, like a, a marionette or like a ballerina doll. I'm going to lean slightly towards Benfado. I feel his lat region is just much more, it's just genetically superior. And look at the traps. I think, yes, just based on the traps. Look at the size of those big babies. So Ben Fado picks up another all-important point. Let's have a look at the most muscular. And both men deserve props for this pose. Excellent condition there of each specimen. Wow. 
Ben Fado just looks incredible in this aesthetic version of the most muscular. But it is not enough to combat against just that monstrous most muscular of Mike Christian. Look at those traps and plus the conditioning. Very impressive. So there's an interesting situation here. We may have to dig up another pose heading into this last pose. If Ben Fado wins, then it's all over. But if Christian somehow wins this ab and thigh, then we're going to have to dig up another pose. But as you can probably plainly see, you can toss those digging shovels aside. Francis Benfado wins this one in a very close contest. Mike Christian is definitely a great bodybuilder and deserves respect. But Francis Benfado could be a dark horse in this tournament. He may give Lee Haney a run for his money. Let's have a look at these brackets. Francis Benfado moves on up whoop, next to Lee Haney. An unenviable position, or perhaps enviable. Who knows? I do look forward to that one, though, but we're going to have to wait. The next matchup features Rich Gaspari versus Brian Buchanan. Could be an interesting one. Stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this one, and have a good day.